Hey y'all, it is Michael Miller and I am back with another video. Today I'm doing my very, very first hair tutorial and it is definitely overdue. This is actually my first time doing this style, which was last night. It took me a good amount of time and that's just because I was trying to get into the flow of how to actually do the style. This look, I used Murray's Edge Wax. I used Twist Defining Cream by As I Am. A spray bottle, scissors. You might wanna get a clip so that when you're sectioning off the hair, um, you can just use a clip to put it to the side. Y'all are gonna trip, but I only used one pack of hair. Yes, one pack of hair. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. And just to let you guys know, it is Katie, or Kati, I'm, I'm assuming it's Katie. Okay, there we go. Katie Spring Twist Hair. And I got this from the beauty supply store and I was so happy that I found this because a lot of the people that I found um, like on, you on YouTube um, who use different types of spring twist hair had to order their stuff online. And I was really trying to just get my stuff in person. Luckily, my beauty supply store had it. I did not think that they were going to because every link that I looked to on YouTube was to an Amazon site or to a site where I had to order it and get it through the mail. So yeah, this is the packaging. And so what I do is I just take one strand of hair out. The strand of hair is this long, but to achieve this look at this length, I cut it in half. And then the next thing I do is I kind of just like stretch it out on both sides all the way through. And I separate this into three sections. So you have your three sections but for each braid or each twist, I use one. So I put the other ones to the side. And I just wanna give props to, I'll, I'll put her name in after I edit this video, but I got this technique from another YouTuber and it was really, really helpful. It was easier for me to separate the hair this way and cutting it in half. But yeah, I'll, I'll put that in the description section when I'm done editing. But yeah, what I do is I take one strand of hair. I use my Murray's Edge Wax. Man, I cannot focus this. Murray's Edge Wax. And then I just put it at the root. have to adjust this lighting okay so I put it at the root and then the next thing I do is I take one strand of the hair I spray it with water and then I go back in take my defining my twist defining cream Man, y'all, this is not focusing well at all. But it's by As I Am, it's the Twist Defining Cream. Take about this much. Oh no. Then I just rub it through the hair. Okay. So now that you have your Murray's Edge Wax on your root and you have your, um, water in your twist cream on your hair. And you don't have to use twist cream, this is just the moisturizer that I prefer for this style. You take the hair, separate it into two, two sections, let me take this clip. Two sections, 
lay this along. If you can tell, this is where I'm placing the hair. And then what I do is I pair one of the parts of the two parts of my hair with one side of the hair and then I leave one out and I leave one out of my hair and I leave one out of the extension hair. And so what I do is I braid it. You can see I'm crossing my hair over into the middle between the extension hair and my hair paired with the extension hair. Cross my hair over with the extension hair in the middle and then I start braiding. And then I braid for a little bit. And I probably braid about like four times and then what I do is, you can tell that where the extension hair is and where my hair is and where the my hair is paired with the extension hair. And then you separate the part that has, I know this is hard to explain, but the part that has just my hair, I split into two. And then I pair it with one of the other parts of the sections and then I pair it with the other part of the section. And so that's when I start twisting. I'm just twisting down. And what I like about this style is that I know that with a lot of twist styles, um, you kind of have to like rotate your fingers the opposite way in order to achieve like the sing uh, Senegalese look. But I like that with spring twist hair since it mimics your hair or it's like a it's more of a kinkier texture. It's easier for you to just regularly twist it. And so you're gonna continue to keep twisting down. And so when you start to see where your hair starts to end, so this is where my hair kind of ends with the rest of the hair, I put more beeswax on my hair. And then since it's also on the other side, I do the same thing on the other side with my hair. And then I continue to twist it down. Sorry y'all, this lighting is crazy. The sun is going down. And so I feel like I have to keep adjusting the lighting. So yeah, keep twisting down. And then what I do when I get to the end is I spray the end of the hair and then I twirl it. And if it's not how I want it to look, if it's like kind of like extra stuff at the end, then I just cut it with the scissors. Yeah. And so this is what it looks at the, like at the end. And I really love this hair because it really mimics um, the texture of my hair, at least when I two strand twist it by itself. Okay, so I'm doing another part of the, another section of um, hair. And so I already put my edge wax at the top. And then I'm gonna spray this with water. Then I'm gonna use my defining twist cream and run it through the hair. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate my hair into two sections, pair one end of the twist hair with my hair 
and then leave the other one hanging down the middle. I'm gonna twist my hair that's alone by itself into the middle. And then I'm going to bring my hair joined in with the twist hair in the middle. And then bring the other end. And so then that's when I'm gonna start braiding. So I'm just braiding down. And I braid about to this point. And then that is when I take the hair that's only mine, that's by itself from the beginning, and I separate it into two sections between both sides that have the hair. So this side and then this side. I start twisting down regularly. And then once I notice my hair is about to like be done with the twist, I add the Murray's to only my hair on both sides. So add the Murray's here. And then that's when I start twisting down again. And the reason I do that is to prevent uh, like the appearance of it being very like, how do I explain it? Just to make sure it's all neat and it stays together. And then when I get to the very end, I spray it with water and then I twirl it with my finger. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna cut that off. And this is what it looks like up close. Okay, so originally I, I wasn't gonna make it this short. I was gonna use the full length of hair, but that took me so much longer to do because um, it was harder for me to separate the hair without it getting tangled with that long of a strand of hair. And it literally took me, I think like an hour to do three twists when I was doing the full length. So when I cut it into, when I cut, I cut it in half and I made the style shorter, it, saved so much time uh, so. overall this style took about if i had to take out me going to sleep me uh, going to eat me taking breaks it probably took me about seven hours and the reason it took seven hours is because you know the hair stretches and it's a lot longer than my actual hair so twisting each strand took a lot longer one thing i will say is that what made it a lot easier was the parting process because y'all me and combs and parting just do not go together and finger parting this hair made this style so much easier to achieve and um a lot faster to do i love that because the parting is the way it is it's easier for me to put it up and you know if i ever wanted to like wear it to one side it's easy for me to do Overall, that. I love this style. I'm so excited to rock it. I will let you guys know how it holds up in the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions, any comments, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.